Hi guys, it's Tracy and I'm back with another video and this is one that I had been teasing for some time and I finally got all of my thoughts together and picked out the products that I wanted to share with you guys. I've been talking about doing a 10 under 10, five for five and that kind of thing and I'm gonna show you five makeup items for five dollars and under and also five tools for five dollars or under. So you're getting a twofer. So um, yeah, well, I'm gonna share these products with you and hopefully you'll find something useful, totally on a budget. And yeah, I hope that you guys like the video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's see, if you wanna know what's on my eyes, I have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette on. This is for our birthstone collab. And I'm sure, I think this video is already up. So if it is, I'll link it up in the cards here. So I use this yellow palette. I, the April birthstone is a diamond and I chose to do a yellow diamond. So I use the Aha uh -huh Honey palette and then I used the Trophy Wife on the lid. And I also have it on as my highlighter today, just very, very lightly. And I have, are they still there? These little yellow like rhinestones in the inner corners. So that's what's going on on my face. So let's start out with the five makeup products. I have a super cute little Betsyville bag. I put everything in. So uh, let's see here. Let's start out with foundation. The foundation that I was able to get and test out and have really been loving, I have it on my face today, is by Believe Beauty, and you can find this at Dollar General, and this is $5. And they have a pretty decent shade range, and this is, they say it is a skin finish foundation, medium to full coverage. And I do agree with that. You could build it up to full coverage, but I just think it looks really natural and not too, like it doesn't cake up, it wears really well. Now you don't get a full ounce in this one, you get 0.85, and this is actually made in Germany. So I have the shade Soft Beige, and I've really been liking it. You can see, like I've used a bit of it up, so $5. And you have to get that at Dollar General. There's nobody else that carries that. And the other things you can either get at Ulta or Walmart, so or CVS. So let's start next with a blush. This is a newer, <clears throat> uh, not new, but it's like a newish kind of product. This one is from Essence and it's just called The Blush. And this is in the shade, oh boy. You guys know I'm blind without my glasses. Let me get my mag light here. I thought I knew what it was called. Okay, it's, called, it's shade number 10 and it is called Befitting. So that's what it is. Let me do a little swatch. It's just a really nice kind of neutral, pinky. Not too, you know, bright so it can work on multiple skin tones and it is, it's it for the, it's it's matte I would say I would call it a matte blush. It's a really pretty shade. It blends nice and it's two ninety nine, so you can't beat two ninety nine. Then for your eyes, I found or I found I have it in my collection, the Wet and Wild Rose in the Air, and this is kind of like a dupe for Modern Renaissance, Ugh. and. The formula is really nice. It, it just blends really nicely. I haven't used mine in a while, but they're super soft. Got the Chihuahua Symphony coming. <laughs> There's a few swatches there. And you can pick this up at Walmart for $4.98. Uh, Wet n Wild had a bit of an increase in their prices. So it was harder for me to find eyeshadows because they all used to be, you know, like under five bucks for all of the Wet n Wild. But I noticed that they've been raising the prices, but I did check at Walmart and this one comes in just two pennies under. So 
$4.98 at Walmart. It may be the same price at Target as well because they're usually pretty competitive with their prices. And then for mascara, we have the Essence Lash Princess. This is the false lash effect one, and this is my favorite mascara. This is such a good mascara. It's got a really, this is a brand new one. I don't want to open it because I have like a million mascaras open, but this is just really, really nice. And if you're looking for a good mascara, I've tried lots of the Essence mascaras and they're all really good. And they're like, this one's $4.99 and um, CVS carries Essence now as well. So you might be able to find this at your CVS. They have it at Ulta. And did I see it at Walmart? I don't remember. I know I, it's at CVS and it's at Ulta and it's $4.99 and a lot of times they're on sale. So excellent mascaras from Essence. And then I forgot you, with your eyeshadow, you need an eyeshadow primer. And I have here the e.l.f. This is just their base, uh, what's it called here? I think it's just called eyeshadow primer. And this is in one called Sheer. I think they have Sheer and they might have a white one. And you can see I've used you know quite a bit of it up. And this is $3 and it has a doe foot on it. So it's easy to put on and last really good and three bucks. And then last but not least here, I have the Revlon Kiss Balms. I've been using these for so long and I've used up a bunch of them. You guys have seen them in empties and stuff and these are $4.99 at CVS. So they'll be even cheaper at Walmart. I didn't check the Walmart site. This is a brand new one that I had picked up when they were on sale. And this one is in Berry Burst and it gives you like a little bit of color. They're kind of like the ColourPop Just a Tint lip balms or lip tint. They're kind of the same type of formula. They're not like a ton of color, but they feel nice on your lips and they're just, they're really, really nice and under $5. So those are the five makeup products that I have for you under $5 and under, I should say. And then I decided to pull out some tools to show with you guys, to show with, bleh, to share with you guys because some people had asked about brushes and I did I do have a um, video up on my channel it's an older video but I'll link it up here and it's um, one dollar makeup brushes so you can check that one out but I'm going to show you I actually have more than five here because I couldn't decide so we'll start out with a sponge this is the AOA Wonder Blender sponge and this sponge is a tan color and this is dirty <laughs> and that's what I love about it this is it in the packaging it's just called their wonder blender so that's the size before it's wet and this is the size when it's wet and it's super bouncy and squishy and the color is great it doesn't get stained it look you know you can't tell if it's dirty or not and they're just really really squishy and a dollar I, I see no reason that anybody would pay twenty dollars for a beauty blender there's just no reason this is a dollar and they also have one on and you can get these at shop miss a they also have the ones that are pink and they're from their pawpaw line. And those ones are $1.55 and those ones are amazing too. I thought I had one, like an extra, but I didn't. But if you see those ones, those ones are really good too. And they're $1.55 and the 55 cents goes to some kind of animal shelter, animal rescue type thing. So that 55 cents goes to a great cause and either one of them, great sponges for a dollar, dollar fifty-five. You cannot beat it. When I usually place an order, I'll place an order for like five or 10 of them because then I give them to my daughter because she's really bad about washing her sponges. I'll sneak when she comes, I go and sneak into her makeup bag. I'll get her brushes out, her sponges. I wash everything and she's just like, oh, see, I know you'll do it for me. So I pick them up and then I can hand them out. So whoever needs a clean sponge. Okay, and then we might as well stick with Shop Miss a because I have some brushes. This one here is by AOA Studio and this is their E. Oh boy. You know the writing is small. 
This is their E121. It's just like a flat shader brush, and it's the perfect size for your lid just to get shimmer all over your lid, and it's a dollar. Next up, also from AOA, is their small pencil brush, which they have a small one and a large one, and I do have both, and I like both of them, but the small one I find I use more because I like to use it like under, you know, when I'm doing underneath my eyes. So this is their small pencil brush, and it is a dollar, and this is their E124 brush. So it's just a small pencil brush, a dollar. So there's two brushes. And then the last brush from AOA that I have is their F18, and this is a highlighter brush. And I've heard people compare this to the ABH highlighter brush and say that it's very, very similar. It's the perfect size. Just gets your highlight on and it's a dollar. I'm gonna order up a backup of this one. It has a little bit of shedding happening because I just washed it. But usually I don't have any shedding or any problems with the brushes. They're super, super soft and they're a dollar. So you can't beat it for a buck. Then we have my good old wet and wild crease brush. I love these, I use these, I've used these for years and you can kind of tell when they start getting splayed out at the top that you've used them for a while, but I get no shedding with these. They are, they're so good, they're a dollar. One dollar, you can find these at Dollar Tree and then you can find them at like you know, Walmart, They're, they might even be less than a dollar at Walmart. They might be like 96 or 98 cents. So you can get at Walmart, Target, pretty much everywhere that carries Wet n Wild has these and they are $1. And then I have two from e.l.f. And this one is called their Small Concealer Brush, which I don't know who does their concealer with a brush this small, but what I use the brush for is my inner corner to do my inner corner highlight. I find it's just the perfect size to fit right there, to drag a little bit under and a little bit up. So I, I have two of these, I think, and I just keep it in my everyday drawer that I use every day. And I use it every day, and this is $2. They used to be a dollar, but they're $2 now. And then this one is called their Oh, I guess it's just called eyeshadow brush, but it's kind of like a flat shader, but it's shorter than the Shop Miss A one. So just a little bit different in, you know, the size and the shape. And this one is $2. The good thing about the e.l.f. ones is that you can get them in store. AOA, you have to order online. But AOA shipping is only $3.95, which I find to be pretty good because most places will really get you on the shipping when they have something inexpensive. And then they do have free shipping, like over $20 or something maybe. And e.l.f. right now has free shipping over $15. So a couple good places if you are looking to buy anything online. So this is my, what is that, five, six, I had seven makeup tools under five dollars for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you saw something that you didn't know you needed and now you really need it and I was able to show it to you for a super cheap price. So I hope that you will give my video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. And make sure to hit the notification bell down below to be notified of new videos. And if you were returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys are all staying safe and sane in this C19 time and that you guys are all well. So I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.